So this was my first jet. I wonder how my KD was in this thing back then. Bruh. This is the F-80A5, and it was formerly called the P-80A5 way back when, when I first unlocked it. And yes, this was the first jet I ever played in War Thunder, as you could probably tell from the intro of this video. In fact, there are actually probably quite a few planes that I really, really sucked with back then. Actually, probably all the ones I played. But over the years, especially within the last year alone, I've greatly improved, and that's thanks to a lot of things. But that's a topic for another day. So the F-80A5 is a lot of people's first jet in this game, including mine. And it really is a great jet to start with. It's a rank 5, battle rating 7.0 fighter, and it's got some really solid performance relative to the competition, with a few exceptions, of course. But before I get into the competition, let's talk about the plane itself. So the armament is 650 cals, which are honestly great guns. They're extremely easy to aim, and you have a whole bunch of ammo, and they have fantastic range, which is why these things are really annoying to your opponents. The 50 cals tend to set fire to a lot of things very, very easily, which is something they've pretty much always done, if I remember right. Though there is that drawback of these being relatively small caliber guns relative to the competition, but that said, you will still get some crazy one-taps every once in a while. So how about the flight performance? The acceleration isn't that great. But at 7.0, you don't really need crazy acceleration to do well. Unless, of course, you're facing an entire team full of the broken planes like the Su-11 or something maybe like LA-200s or something, which those can be rough to deal with. But the people that play those planes typically are not that great, especially the Su-11s. LA-200s can sometimes be a little difficult if they know what they're doing. They More often than not, I was able to win those fights. Really, the only time I really wasn't able to win those fights is if the LA-200s just ran away, which you can't do anything if they just run away. They out-accelerate and out-speed you no problem. And at that point, I just go land and J out low? Now what about the maneuverability of this thing? Well, it's actually pretty good. It can pull quite a lot of Gs at most speeds, and maintains its ability to turn at very high speeds, which is really, really useful in a lot of situations. The only part you might have trouble with at high speeds is that the roll kind of compresses a little bit, but otherwise, elevator and rudder seem to not really. And that alone makes this plane pretty fun to fly, to be honest. Now, of course, all of this maneuverability wouldn't really mean that much if it didn't have good energy retention, but the F-88A does have a respectable ability to maintain speed through turns. It's not quite to the level of an Su-11, but it's still pretty good. This kind of is one of those planes where using a sort of boom and zoom tactic will work pretty well. I mean, I guess that's true for most planes, but if you can get one of those situations where there's like three enemies below you, you dive in, take some shots, fly straight back up, dive in, take some shots, fly straight back up, you're going to do pretty well. And say you get one or two of those guys down, you can kind of just do whatever you want with the remaining enemies. Moving on from this very basic overview of performance, what about the matchmaker? So, 7.0, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Overall, 7.0 isn't too bad, and if you get down tier to 6.0, you're going to see JU-288s, of course, but you're in a jet, so it's going to be much easier to catch them and kill them. I haven't had that many down tiers in this thing, it seems like the matchmaker actually does a pretty good job of keeping you around your battle rating. But then the full up tiers can be a bit tricky sometimes. For the most part, I didn't have that many issues, but you're going to see planes like the LA-15. And we all know, of course, there's a lot of LA-15 players out there that are really, really good. That's typically one of those planes where if you can get energy fighting down, you're going to do really, really well. Which is also why I play it a lot. Then, of course, there are planes like the LA-200, where you're just not going to be able to catch if they don't want you to catch them. But if you can manage to get an LA-200 turning, you're going to win that fight every time. But in reality, the majority of your opponents are going to be flying ME-262s, which are very easy fights for you. You kind of just do everything better than them, and they're not going to really be able to do much. Every now and then, you will run into an Su-11 pilot who actually knows what they're doing, and if an Su-11 pilot knows what they're doing and has an energy advantage over you, you're going to just die pretty much every time. But that's the funny part about Su-11 pilots. Not that many of them are good. But anyway, I've talked about the plane enough. Let's get into some gameplay. Oh, great. We got this really tiny map. Had this a few times lately. See, the problem with these maps, like, I'm not even off the runway yet, and there's an ME-262 and an F-84G already being spotted for me. Like, our, you know, our F-84s over here spawned in, and not even 10 seconds later, we've got them running into the enemy team. So, what you gotta do on this map is fly away. <laughs> Basically turn around, almost. And like that, like, I'm not even up to speed yet, and this F-84G could easily fly down and kill me. Because he has all the energy in the world. But he's not going to because he looks a little distractive. Sweet! Alright, so it looks like everyone's at pretty low altitude, except that Arado. So if we get up a little bit of altitude, we'll be alright. So, normally I don't prioritize Spitfires, but I think this time I actually might need to do that. Or maybe he'll actually present himself as a target. See if he turns.
There we go. I honestly thought he was about to do a full commit. Oh, he might shoot me. I honestly thought he was about to try a head on with me, but I guess he wasn't uh, aware of my presence. Now I should probably prioritize the SU-11 because he can basically do whatever he wants if he knows what he's doing. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Looks like we got a 262 about to try and kill me though. Is he going to crash? I thought he was going to crash for a second. Some hits. Scuffed my aim, but that's alright. See if the other FAD can take care of that 262. Yes, never mind, he crashed. <laughs> Sweet. Still need to get this SU 11 down, though. Seems it's a uh, 2v, what, 6? SU 11's slow. I wonder what I hit on him a minute ago. Crit. Don't know what I hit. And we've got... Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot for doing this, but... Get out of that. Get out of these guns. It's a C1A. He's dangerous too, actually. Stay out of those guns, hopefully. Now, it looks like we got a bit of a advantage here. Hopefully. As long as I don't die to these gunshots. Looks like he's a committer. Aimers. And there's a fire. Sweet. Ah, Aimers part two. I mean, he did turn. That probably wasn't the easiest shot, but... Also, shout out to this F-80 with me. He's helping me out big time right now. Teamwork. Kill. Now we've got a 229 who is very slow. Maybe the F80 will get him. He deserves a kill. Oh, maybe not. Wow, suck at aiming again. Those of you who are longtime subscribers or watch my streams know that I scuff my aim way too much. See what we can do here. Hope that F80 lives. We got some hits, but more hits. F80 is slow at the moment. I wonder what happened there. Is he damaged? Oh, this is the. I just realized this is the, like the unicorn 262. God, aimers, man. Crashers? Nope, we're good. So we got a 229 and then one unknown. Trying to fly back to base though. Yeah, I don't want to die to base AA, so I'm not gonna follow that. I think I'll go die to mid map AA instead. All right, so getting back up in the air again, uh, it appears we may we may actually lose to ticket bleed, and uh, I'm gonna be pretty upset if that happens. To be honest, I guess all of these guys AI are attacking our ground targets. That's killing us. That's extremely annoying. And I'm pretty sure this other guy that's not the Ho 229 is an Arado, and who knows where he could be. He could be in space. So the question is, do I attack the ground targets and try and do that before... That, nah, we've already lost, dude. Great. Might as well try and get another kill. I believe that's the... Oh, I think that's a 229, isn't it? Looks a bit... Yeah, that's a 229 for sure. It's a very wide silhouette. The Arado could... I, I bet the Arado's in space. Maybe I'll hit a blind hunt in a minute just to find out. Now, the 229 can be a tricky opponent sometimes. You just gotta have that energy advantage. Things just turn on an absolute dime. But apparently he's not coming for me, so. Seems like that's the optimal, oh wait, we're about to lose now, aren't we? And this guy's turning for me. We've already lost. It's extremely annoying. And where's that F-80? Or not the F-80, the Arado. Six kill game, gonna lose and we're still alive. <laughs> oh my god. We still got three people too. Hit the blind hunt. Bet you he's in space. Yep, he's uh yeah. Great. Crazy high altitude and flying to the edge of the map. I have no hope of winning this. That's really unfortunate. Great. 
Losing with six kills, still alive, just because one guy's running. So the P80A5. I've actually really enjoyed playing this thing after years of not touching it. Probably because I've actually improved and I'm actually a somewhat competent player now. I remember thinking this thing was just terrible, and I remember thinking that the 50 cals sucked and this thing couldn't turn and couldn't accelerate and was slow. But now I realize I just was terrible at the game. I'm much better now, but I'm still not exactly an aimer. But eh, what are you gonna do? What do you guys think about the F88A5? I personally think this is one of the best starter jets that's available in game. Not only is it pretty good, but it's actually pretty fun to fly as well. So essentially, yes, very nice, playing good. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.